Hey guys, it's Carl, and in front of me, we possibly have the best Android tablet that you can currently get. I know that's a common saying, but this is the first time that Samsung is bringing the Ultra name to their tab line. And this is also the first time in two years we're getting an upgrade to the Tab series. I know that the Tab S7 was the last one that launched in 2020, and we are getting a completely updated tablet line over from Samsung. So the Tab S8 Ultra, like I said, is the best that you can get, and that kind of goes in line with the S22 Ultra, which I launched a couple vids, so check them out this way in case you're interested. This is the most premium, this is the most expensive. It starts at 1099, that'll get you eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, but thankfully, thankfully, Samsung has still included a micro SD card slot, which they did that over for their S series phones, uh, so you can increase the storage option if you want, and that is unlike the iPad Pro, which I have off to the side, which I think these two will really Really compete, obviously the price, obviously the form factor, but on the flip side, 1099, that's the starting price for this, at least you get the S Pen included. And I can't say the same over for the iPad, which you still have to buy the Apple Pencil second gen. That's another 129 bucks. So um, yeah, I think Samsung is doing a great thing with pricing. And of course you get this beautiful device. I would say this is the best looking tablet that you can get. It's futuristic, the bezels, are razor, razor thin. And for the display, 1848 by 2960, 14.6 inches. And Samsung is giving us another interesting little quote. This is the first AMOLED display in this size. And it's a extremely large tablet. It's actually bigger than the iPad Pro. And you can see how much taller of a footprint this is because it's that 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So I think that's great for media consumption. And even if you switch that into portrait mode, you just get so much more on your screen and kind of quickly going around, it's actually thinner than the iPad Pro. But in the time that I've used the Tab S8 Ultra, I haven't noticed any unwanted clicks or touches and the palm rejection is a lot better with the S Pen. So when I'm jotting down notes, when I've tried to be a bit of an artist using this, I haven't really noticed anything with my palm on the sides of the bezel. So I think that's great. One thing though, I will say completely unrelated to this iPad. So we'll stick this off to the side here. The display, although it is gorgeous, Samsung sent this to me wrapped in bubble wrap. They didn't actually send me a box. I had the deepest scratches in this display and even in the week using it, I've collected so many extra little scratches and it is using Gorilla Glass 5, not Gorilla Glass Victus, but the thing with displays now, companies are making them softer to help with, I guess, drop protection. So if you were to drop this unwieldy tablet, hopefully the screen won't shatter. I'm not about to do any drop tests, but in turn that decreases the strength of the display for scratches. So if you do get this, please grab a screen protector. I'll leave some of my favorites, just something to protect the display, especially if you're using it with the S Pen all the time. I am sure surface scratches will be your worst enemy. And for a tablet that cost $1,000 plus, just um, keep it safe. And that's actually a great little segue into some of the pre-order bonuses. If you live in the US, you get a keyboard case. And if you guys are up here in Canada, we actually get a bonus, the keyboard case plus the Galaxy Z Buds 2. So I think that's pretty awesome until the 24th. Once again, links uh, down below if you want to purchase them. They don't help me out in any way, just uh, in case you want to get some extra freebies with your purchase. Moving on to the next thing which makes the tablet great is the S Pen. And like I said, at least you get it in the box compared to any of the iPads, which you still have to buy separately. I will say the charging location on the back, I think we know that for most Samsung devices, snaps nicely on. But because the device is so thin, you can't unfortunately stick it anywhere on top or on the sides. But uh, I don't think this is the recommended spot because the device is so thin, the actual S Pen is thicker and it'll just kind of knock off easier. So just stick it on the back and those cases that you get, there's usually a dedicated little spot for it. And just like the experience on the S22 Ultra, the S Pen experience here on the Tab S8 Ultra is also the best. So they've decreased latency to 2.8 milliseconds. There's actually a bit of AI built in where the actual S Pen is kind of going. It'll predict that and make the experience almost seem like you're writing on paper. So it is by far the best S Pen experience and probably the best stylus experience on an Android tablet. And I think Android or even Windows users that have been waiting for a really good tablet experience with a stylus on an Android based tablet will 
love this. It is so fluid, so quick. And this is where the extra benefit of having this larger form factor, this larger display, you just have a larger canvas to draw. You just have more screen real estate to use the S Pen. So an awesome experience. And like I said, the best S Pen experience or the best tablet slash stylus experience that you can currently get on the market. In terms of the rest of the display, we kind of know what Samsung has to offer. There's some of the best displays on the market. So obviously really great contrast ratios, really great viewing experience when you are watching any sort of content. You do get slight letterboxing because of this aspect ratio, but it's uh, you know nothing to kind of cry home about stuff looks great on it. It also has an in-screen fingerprint sensor and for the rest of the hardware, we'll start off at the front because we're still on the display. So you actually see we have a dual front facing camera. So you just have the standard wide and ultra wide. And for that camera, when we go into say video chat, it actually has this function on the ultra wide sensor where you'll have a feature called auto framing, which is actually very similar to center stage over on the iPads. Essentially when you have multiple people in frame, it'll zoom towards the person in focus. So right now this obviously works with just the stock camera app and not quite sure if that will be available for third party apps like Zoom, like Duo, but uh, expect that to launch pretty soon. And I'm sure those third party apps will kind of build that in into their um, ecosystem, into their apps. On the back, we've got a 13 megapixel main and a six megapixel ultra wide. They can record in 4K, but uh, you know, I'm still on the fence. Do not be that person who's recording or taking photos with their tablet, especially something this size. You will look like the weirdest person. Mom, I'm gonna throw you under the bus again. I know you've snapped pics with your iPad before, but um, if you are that person, I mean, I guess you can be that person. Do what you wanna do. If it makes you happy. And for the rest, my overall experience has been great. This is rocking the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 platform, same as the S22 Ultra, obviously depending which RAM option you get. One UI 4.1 is really good. And this is where I have to give Samsung huge props. I think the tablet space is kind of tough in the regards that you are still running essentially a larger phone. That's the same for iPad. I know we have iPad OS. Is it that much different from iOS? Not really. You could argue the same with Android tablets, but at least we have Samsung DeX in this. It gives you a bit more versatility, almost like a Chromebook. So you can get by using this as your sole device. And you can even use this as a second monitor on your Windows machine. So I think that's great. I think the versatility on this is actually better than the iPad. And I think a lot of you might argue against that, but um, yeah, huge props to Samsung the best tablet that you can get. I love the fact that you get extra accessories included, mainly the S Pen. Battery wise, you've got 11,200 milliamps. You've got 45 watt fast charging. I'm getting around two days, pretty heavy usage. And the nice thing about the Samsung ecosystem now, which is growing in the right direction, if you've got a Samsung device like this one here, if you snap a photo, you can actually edit it live on your S8 Ultra, which I think is dope. It kind of, of course, mimics what we've got going on in iPad or I guess Mac OS, iPad OS, standard iOS. I think this is a much needed upgrade and I think it's a real competitor over to the iPad. So just remember all the pre-order bonuses I'll leave down below. And um, yeah, if you guys end up snagging this, let me know which color option or I guess spec you end up getting. I know I didn't really mention that too much. There are a couple different options. This one is like the graphite, almost the space gray. I know that's an apple color. And other than that, very solid tablet, still a bit pricey in my opinion. And that screen, which seems to be a bit soft, these gouges in mine um, are a bit sad on this expensive device, but um, just keep it protected. That's pretty much it. I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.